Welcome to Winter Day Ticket Fishing. This is the Chase in Dagnum. I'm Steve Deer. Today we're going to be joined by Terry Dempsey and Bradley Emmett. And today we're going to be looking at their approach to a, a day ticket fishery like this in what is mid-Jan at the moment and see if they can, uh, they can nab a few for the camera. session I tend to one of my spot mix I tend to use a bit of nutcracker crumb a bit of tuna and garlic so you've got a bit of sweetness and the fish meal mix it together it's a really really good combination in the winter uh, I normally have to cut out with a sweet corn not much I want a bit of colouring in there maybe a few maggots a little bit of caster but mainly a boilie crumb and just a few chops really So on my winter session, like I said before, the tuna and garlic nutcracker, I'll get to the lake and if I see fish showing or I've seen signs of fish, obviously I'll put a couple of singles out and try and nick an early bite. But as the session goes on and that's not happening, obviously I want to put a couple of spawns out on each, maybe two rods on a tight spot and my third rod further out or something like that, try and nick a bite. Um, I'll put three, three to five spawns out like that and if I get a bite, um, I'll add a few more because once the bait's in there, I can't take it back out. So I'll just work off a bite basically and just add it as the session goes on if the fish are coming on. If I'm going to go fishing on lakes that have got quite a few fish in, like a lot of the lakes that I do fish in the winter, um, I think spotting is a great idea because the fish move around in tight groups in the winter. So when they do feed, there's a fair few of them in one small area. So if you've got a nice bit of bait out there, you, you know, you can, uh, it can make a big difference and you can get more than one take. So that's the main reason I like to spot in the winter. Also, um, there's a lot of birds on the lakes in the winter, so I always feel as if you need to put quite a lot of baiting in the winter, because the birds, you know, keep cleaning you out. So with frequency, I do regular put bait in. Unless I'm fishing a really low stock lake, but mostly in the winter, um, I do still use a spawn and I still put it out.
Good morning from the chase. So yesterday afternoon and last night was eventful. I picked up my first fish yesterday on a scattering of the nut crack on the right hand rod. It was a nice common, first one from the chase back lake. Um, so I introduced a bit more crumb, tuna garlic crumb, nutcracker crumb, because I got the bite. Um, and then later on as the night drew, drew in, came in, uh, I started picking them up on the left hand rod. Um, I had two bites on the left hand rod. Fortunately, I dropped one, but again, nice little common um, in their winter colours, January, middle of January. So the, nut, uh, the nutcracker crumb and the tuna crumb is getting them on it. Um, strawberry nutcracker as the hook bait. Tell had six runs, I think five, five were commons. Again, nice dark colours, a few bronze, uh, a nice gnarly crusty mirror, little linear. Um, nice fish. Again, that's a big, as over a big head of bay that was. I think he's done about a hundred spoms over that now. Again, with a nutcracker crumb, a little bit of tuna garlic crumb, and whole boilies. 18 millers, 12 millers, a bit of a mixture. Um, so in total, I think we've had, I think it's 10 bites now over at the Chase, the Back Lake, um, and a 24 hour session, middle of January. So yeah, good session, looking good. Morning, here I am at the Chase Lakes. Um, been down here nearly 24 hours. I'm gonna pack up now and get home because there's a, a load of rain coming in. We've had a load of rain through the night, but uh, this morning was nice and bright down here. Uh, had a good session, really enjoyed uh, our little session down here. Me and Brad got down here yesterday about midday. Uh, Brad had the first take yesterday afternoon at about three o'clock, casting over to the corner opposite us. Um, I had a take. Uh, shortly after I lost the fish, then Brad had another one, um, he had another common, so that was a result. Um, then he lost one, then I had another take and had a common and all in all, um, up till, till now we've had 10 bites, uh, landing around 8, I think we landed 8 fish. Uh, I've had a really nice mirror as well, linear, so that's nice, all the rest have been commons, but for January we've had a really good session. We've used a lot of bait since we've been down here. We've been spumming out bait. I've been fishing uh, three rods at 16 and a half wraps, um, and I must have put about seven key out in short, in less than 24 hours. Um, but I've had a lot of bites off of the spot, so it's definitely working. We've seen them showing on it as well this morning, so they're getting on the bait down here at the chase. Uh, what, a, what a brilliant little lake to come and fish in January. You know, so we're looking forward to getting back down here again. But for this this session has been, has been really uh, eventful session. Even last night, you know, we we was catching fish and, and we see some fish just under the surface. F surface, we put a lamp on them and we could see. We like put a torchlight on them and we could see them all coming up and down the margin. So it's been a really good session. Amazing, amazing little lake this is. So we're looking forward to coming back and. Best of luck to everyone if you're out fishing this weekend. Uh, tight lines and get on the game bait.